I'm just going to show you this um, quick little video, although um, if you'll notice that this is in pi, so this is in radians as opposed to degrees, it's still a little, nice little applet to understand the relationship to, as we move around the unit circle, what, how the graphs of sines and cosine graphs. So if we start to move this, we know now that we can um, figure out what sine is because it's this angle here and it's opposite over hypotenuse and whatever that point is gives us the value of sine. And we did that together. So um, if we roll this through, we can see what's going on with the sine graph. And um, we'll just focus on the blue sine graph for now. And when it gets to be straight up and down about 90 degrees, we can see that sine is 1. And then as we move, gradually it goes back down. Again, if we get to 0, um, to 180 degrees, basically, um, sine is 0. And then as we move across again, this would now be approaching 270. We can see that the sign is negative 1 has a value and then gradually goes back up until it completes itself at 360. And at that point, sign is 0. Now, if you want to look at what's happening with the cosine graph, you can run through this applets on your, your uh, document. But you can see what happens with cosine, um, why it starts at 1, the y-intercept at 1, and then Again, we can rewind this thing if you wish, and you can see what's happening with the um, cosine graph and how and why they are different.